And there have been times where this water hammer will hit the sensor so hard. Hello, my name is Cam Bansell. I am the Director of Engineering at Sierra Instruments. Yeah, so today I'm just going to touch on situations and problems we've seen as people install products. When water is running through a pipe, you would think out loud that the force of water is equal. You would say, okay, as I turn it on, the water is going to be running through my pipe at, at the same pressure, at the same speed. The truth is, that's not the case. What tends to happen is you've got a flow happening at a given rate and an event happens upstream of the sensor that compresses the water and shoots it like a bullet, like a piston. And it's traveling down this pipe really, really fast and very, very powerful. And there have been times where this water hammer will hit the sensor so hard it'll actually shear the sensor off. Could be things off the nature of water condensation that happens with, uh, around the pipe that then condenses the steam. Let's, let's say we're talking about steam for a moment. That condenses steam and now you have steam and water traveling at a super rate. So now you've got these high density BBs shooting through the line that can hit the sensors and cause damage. You could have scenarios where you've closed a valve and it's just trickling and the valve opens and suddenly you have this gush of water. I mean just this profound force of water coming through. That would be a water hammer. So if you're going to open valves, you do it a little slower. You don't just go from close to open, you just slowly open it. The pressure would equalize and you wouldn't have this water hammer effect. When, when you purchase or order one of our meters, irrespective of uh, the product line, there are some constants, some variables that we need to know so we can build the meter to your specification. Some of the uh, problems that we have seen in the field a very common one is the pipe size is wrong. Uh, they'll tell us initially that they want a four inch pipe size, the inner diameter, and so we'll calibrate the system for a four inch pipe. And they'll go and install it, and guess what? It's not really a four inch pipe, it's a, a six inch pipe. There's no reason for the I-Series product line for you to ship the unit back and have it recalibrated. You would just use one of our applications within the SIP software um, called dial pipe and you just go ahead and in there and, and you just enter six inches and that's all it takes. And the same is true for pressure and temperature also. Now, if you have actual transducers put into it, it's a non-issue because the, those values are calculated real time. So, you know, so I just touched briefly on some of the um, problems we see in installation, but we're here. Uh, the team is here. Uh, we are more than willing and we love speaking with customers and we want everyone to be successful and we want our products to function for you the first time. So please feel free to call us. We are approachable. Thank you.